What's going on everyone? This is Family Jewels 7 x and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play the Twin Rova theme from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I want to welcome you guys to uh, the third video in my 10 video series on tutorials that you guys helped me choose uh, of songs that you guys wanted to learn from my uh, first two years of uh, weekly covers of uh, video game music on YouTube. Um, please check the description, you'll see tabs, uh, well a zip file of the tabs, uh, a guitar profile, um, and a backing track so you guys can jam along at home to this song. The layout of today's tutorial is I'm going to teach you most of the leads first, so I'm going to start with classical guitar, the classical guitar intro, and then I'm going to start teaching you how to play the leads, the lead guitars, then the rhythm guitar, and then the bass from my arrangement of uh, Twin Rova. So for the tuning uh, that I used in this song, uh, and the one that's going to be in the tabs, um, all of the electric guitars are in drop C, um, the, uh, but everything else is in standard tuning. So uh, drop C sounds like this. Uh, you've got your C, G, C, F, A, and D. And those sound like this. It's my favorite song, the tuning song. Now, as you guys are probably aware, I'm a huge fan of classical guitar. Um, I actually study classical guitar in college, uh, well, I mean, as this video is being recorded. Um, so I wanted to incorporate a lot of classical guitar stuff in this, uh, simply because I thought it would sound cool and fit the mood of the song. Um, so I just thought I'd show you some of the cool stuff that I'm doing uh, before I show you them, you know, before I just jump right into it. Uh, one of them is, uh, there's this F chord that I play. I mean, uh, it's this. Um, it would be an F chord if you add bar it's just like a you know a basic F bar chord um, but you're actually only playing uh, you know the C F and A yeah C F and A um, but the way you're playing that is you're muting all the strings and then uh, doing one of these Something like that um, maybe a little cleaner yeah it sounds a little weird uh, but when you when you get uh, oh, this a minor thing going to this that's the, yeah, those are the two chords. So um, when you do that, all I'm doing is um, I'm using, uh, well, I mean, I've got classical, you know, classical guitar, nasty, gross nails. Uh, so I can kind of strike that and it sounds like a pick almost. Um, but I use my middle finger to kind of do this kind of, this kind of flamenco-y kind of, uh, you know, I think of it as like uh, one hand high fives kind of deal and just like swats. So, and then coming up with my thumb, back down it kind of almost looks like um oh, what is that uh well this is what it looks like try to get that clean so you can get a kind of deal it sounds really cool and one other thing um when uh you're doing uh this uh a minor chord um if you've got the nails for it uh try to get close to uh close to uh the fucking um bridge right here because uh, you'll uh, you'll really be able to get kind of like a sitari sound. Uh, the closer the bridge you are, the harsher that note is going to be. So it's going to, as opposed to sounding like a like that, if you get close to here and just really fucking dig in, you'll get a cool kind of kind of sound. Sounds really cool. Okay, so here we go. Thank you. 
Now, I won't lie to you guys and tell you guys that the leads, the lead guitars, are easy. Um, they're actually kind of difficult. Not really, um, I mean, they are pretty fast. Uh, they're a little bit faster than, uh, you know, at least I'm comfortable with. Um, but, uh, the thing that really makes them difficult is the, uh, the chromatics, the kind of, um, the odd shapes, and especially at high speeds, doing these odd shapes are very hard to wrap your head around. Um, so the best thing I can definitely give you is just really, really, um, uh, you know, abuse the fact that you can, uh, slow these riffs down and speed them up over time. Get your fingers to really get the muscle memory of these riffs down, um, and then start speeding it up when you feel confident. If you just jump right to the speed, it's it's not going to sound clean. It's not going to sound good. So please, um, I know for a fact I'm not going to be able to play these clean right now, but uh, just um, I hope that you guys do.
with my cover of Twin Rova, I tried to take a lot of um, freedom with the uh, the rhythm guitar and stuff. So uh, what uh, I want to do right now is I want to show you some of the stuff that I uh, that I did on the cover, um, just to uh, you know let you guys get a feel of what I was doing. Um, and I don't know. So if you want to kind of play the same thing, that you can. And that's all I really wanted to show you. Um, just be sure, remember, keep the rhythms tight. Also, um, uh, the beginning part for the chorus, uh, there is um, kind of a staccato, uh, or the beginning part for the main part, sorry. Uh, there's kind of a staccato uh, chord thing going on. Staccato is the little dot above the note. Um, it's kind of the difference between going... Um <laughs> And this, which is, it actually is, it's a... So up to speed is really a... Um, the other thing is uh, the uh, the outro, there is a, a harmonic that I do hit. This ninth harmonic is a... So yeah, definitely lift up and hit those. And that's the same in the beginning too. I had a kind of deal. Um, also, uh, when I go up to the 11th fret and that's that outro, um, I go back to this harmonic because this as a harmonic doesn't really sound like anything. I really wanted a Sounds really cool. Now, for the most part, there isn't a whole lot of uh, differences uh, from the bass and the rhythm guitar. Uh, the only thing is, um, I did play with a pick just to get a very, very clean staccato sound. I mean, you can kind of do it uh, with, um, you know, if you uh, finger uh, finger pick, uh, but it's gonna sound too muddy, especially with since this song is very, very low. There's a lot of, uh, you know, just fucking low end bullshit. Um, you, I, I really wanted to keep the attack very high, so it's the difference between and like, uh, you know, it, it sounds a little bit cleaner, a little bit attackier, and uh, honestly better in my opinion. So uh, you, uh, you people who are you know stuck up about you know oh finger bass is the only bass, you can go fuck yourselves. Um, all right. So that being said, um, I just want to show you what I did with. Uh, just kind of uh, the main parts uh, and how I kept low. I kept. Uh, I tried to use the low B string when I could to get a really just fucking, you know, to make Skrillex happy with these bass drops or whatever. So, um, I don't know. Here we go. You guys get the picture. Uh, also, do note that uh, when the rhythm guitar goes down, the bass keeps keeps this same shape. The while the rhythm guitar is going. So just uh, watch out for that. And that's all there is to it. Uh, that is Twin Rova from Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. I hope you guys have fun learning it. I uh, I hope I was. Uh, concise and uh please check the description for uh the backing track uh it's in a, all it's all in a zip file backing track pdf of tabs and uh the guitar profile um definitely if you want you can leave me a video response of you playing it i love that stuff i'll definitely accept the video response and uh if you have any questions please just uh leave them in the comments and uh i will see you guys next week with another tutorial uh but until then keep rocking on